channel i'm tone and this is the life of a plus size designer and since prom season is over a bitch is back i'm gonna start this off with a story time a story time i've been dying to tell but i just ain't had no time and then i'll be feeling like it in the world and i grow up but i'm gonna be more consistent i swear i swear i know y'all didn't heard this a thousand times but just stick with me till i get it together baby okay so this story time Hold on, we ain't finna get into no story time until I do my disclaimer. I do not work for free. I work for subscriptions. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment in the comments. Go ahead and leave a comment now, baby, because you're going to love the story. Okay, so wait. So before we get started, make sure you grab your drink, you grab your tree, and you tune in and talk to me. <laughs> Y'all like that? Okay, let's get into the video. This story takes place when I was about, I was in my 20s. I don't really no, no, no. I was probably in my early 30s. I was in my early 30s. In my routine, in my early 30s, it was me and my homegirl. Let me give her a name. I don't even know if I need to use fake names because that bitch don't care. Like, <laughs> she don't give a fuck. So, um, I'm going to call her Deshaun. Mm -hmm. So, my homegirl Deshaun, shout out to you, Deshaun. She one of my besties. Fuck the resties. Um, I, we had a routine, girl. We worked together, and at least four to five nights a week, it was go to work, go to the club, repeat. Sleep for about an hour, repeat. So we didn't go to the same clubs. Well, we did frequent the same clubs on different nights because we were regulars and people knew us, baby. But on Saturdays and Sundays, it was like a freestyle. So this was a... I'm going to try not to talk with my hands, y'all, but I can't guarantee nothing, girl, because I'm animated. I'm animated. <laughs> okay. So on I met on Thursday nights we would go to this club. I don't remember the name of the club, but let's just call it Club Shocker, okay? Club Shocker. My cousin was in a band. My cousin played at Club Shocker on Thursday night. So of course I was coming to see my cousin's band every week. We knew um we knew most of the band members in all the bands. Um, so we would go and hang and you know, kiki and all of that. And this one night. He do the most. Y'all excuse my dog. Rami. Y'all didn't see Rami. If you watched any of my vlogs, you've seen Rami. Rami is the... He's the one. Hold on one second. Rami! Get out the window. Because, child, he got a nerve to think that he the only dog that can live on this vlog. Baby, people got dogs here. They're allowed. Anyway... So, we went to this club, we went to Club Shaka, and we was in there doing our big one too, and in walks this guy. Now, that I'm about to talk about, I might have seen him maybe one time, one time before this time, but I, I didn't pay him any attention. So, um, this time, when it was halftime or whatever, that's when everybody get drinks, intermission, the bands change, all of that. If you're not from the DMV, you might not know what the intermission is. I mean, y'all know what the intermission is, but as far as going to see a go-go band. So yeah, the bands change, your your you know, starter band goes off, the headliner comes on, you get drinks, you talk, you mingle, yada 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 yada. So that's what we were doing. So the guy, let's call him money. <laughs> money comes up because he had it. I ain't go, I ain't finna fake. He had money. Comes up. He got about two or three friends with him. I had my homegirl Deshaun and then another homegirl that came with us too. She don't need no name. So but all three of us were standing there, all three of them. Um Deshaun and a homegirl was not interested in the other two gentlemen, but we all were just talking, talking, talking. Money was interested in me. Okay, so Money comes and talks to me. He like, hey, how you doing? My name is Money. What's your name? I'm like, my name is Tone. He like, how you doing? I didn't seen you around before. You know, the little, the, the spiel. The spiel that you normally get. But he was like, I seen you once or twice, but you know, I ain't want to talk to you because <laughs> I ain't want you to get think you was like that or something. He said something, but whatever he said was funny as hell. So, because me and him started laughing or whatever. He was like, no, nah, I'm just playing. You're beautiful. Bye. So, I'm like, okay. So, then he's like, um... He tells his homeboys, okay, go, go to the bar and get a round of drinks for everybody. 
So they like, all right, sh bet. He pulls his money out. He gives them the money for all of the drinks, including the two guys that he's with. So I guess he it was on him tonight, that night or whatever. So um, the guys go off and get the drinks. Me, Deshaun, and my homegirl just sitting there, you know, kikiing with money. So the guys come back with the drinks. We, we, you know, we sipping and we still talking or whatever um, throughout the halftime. So then the, the band starts. So when the band starts, he kind of hangs around a little bit. We give him, I give him a little dance or whatever. And um, we exchange numbers and that was that. Okay, so now when we was leaving the club, this was a red flag, but I didn't know it was a red flag at the time. Okay, so when we leaving out the club, right, he, um... We walking out and he like, yeah, so I'm going to call you later and all of this other stuff. And he like, okay, pull the... So he tells his friends, pull the truck around, pull the truck up. So I'm like... Okay, so why I say it's a red flag is because... What are you stunting? We all leaving. He was overly trying to make it seem like he was the boss. You know what I'm saying? Ordering them around. He telling them to go get the drinks. You know, all that. He trying to make it known that he... Is the boss. So that to me, that's a red flag. These supposed to be your homeboys. You ain't got to do all of that. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I was I looking at him like, nigga, what the, I don't, you weird for that. But all okay. right. So we walking out. He like, I'm going to call you later. They actually go bring the truck around the shit. Like he motherfucking, uh, like that bitch the bay or some shit. They went and got the truck. So, I mean, they must be used to the bullshit. So. I go home, go to work, ain't nothing to it but to do it. The next night, um, I didn't hear from him the next night. That was a Friday because this was with the club that we went to, we would go to on Thursday night. So I go to work on Friday. Um, I don't hear from him on Friday, but Saturday I hear from him. So he like, hey, what's up? What you doing? Whatever, whatever. I was calling to see. He moved very fast. Okay, so wait a minute. I got to tell y'all this too. The relationship that I'm going to tell y'all about happens in 30 days when you're listening to this story make sure you keep in mind this whirlwind lasted 30 days that's how you know he crazy okay all right so let's go so he called me Saturday morning, he called me about 8 o'clock in the morning. He was like, hey, what's up? What you doing? Whatever, whatever. I was like, I'm just still asleep because I went out last night. But I, I got to get I'm, I could get up. What's up? So he, I did. Nigga, you just met me Thursday. Hey, calling somebody at 8 a.m., that's, 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 you know, family. You know what I'm saying? That's when you know a bitch to call before 9. You know what I mean? So I was still sad. I am on this. Like, nigga, you on my phone at 8. I, I, mm -mm. You ain't got no etiquette. You ain't got no manners. Okay? You ain't got no manners. He calls back and he was like, oh, if you want to bring somebody with you, that's cool. You can bring your homegirl, whatever, whatever. So I was like, okay, is your friends going to be there? He was like, nah. So, bitch, why you want my friends to be? What? The, what? Okay, put in the comments if you would have thought that was weird. Because to me, that was weird as fuck. Like, you supposed to be taking me on a date, but you said I, it's cool for me to bring my home girl. Like, why? But I bought them. Because, I listen, if you telling me to bring my home girl, you know yourself better than I know you. So, bitch, I'm going to bring my home girl. I'm going to take heed to what you're saying, and I'm going to bring my motherfucking home girl. So, the same home girl that was with me, Deshaun, that I, that I when I met him, that's who I called up. I'm like, bitch, what you doing? She like, nothing. It's 8 a.m. But, I'm, I, you know, I'm a home girl. So, I'm allowed to call before 9. You know what I'm saying? So she ain't saying nothing about that. I was like, okay, well, get dressed because money tried to take me out to breakfast at some brunch spot way out there, and it was far. It's like maybe an hour away. So I was like, get dressed and you going too. So she was like, this supposed to be y'all first date. What you mean I'm going too? So I was like, he said, bring my homegirl. So bitch, I'm bringing my homegirl. Okay, so we get to the brunch spot. The brunch spot was very nice. When we pull up, we got a waterfall in the middle. It's cascading down. It looks like a fucking resort. It looks like a resort. It looks like a resort. There's valet parking in the front. Um, it kind of looks like if you've never been to Vegas, you see the grand entrances to hotels. That's what it was given. But it was it was only like an hour away. I've never been to this place. Still have not been to this day. Okay, so we get to the spot. Um, the place was really, really nice. Like I said, it had a waterfall. It was giving great vibes. So we get go inside and we waited for about an hour because we had no reservations. Uh, apparently, he just did this shit on a whim. So, um, 
we had to wait. We had to wait at least an hour. So after an hour, he goes up and he's like, do you know how much longer it's going to be? She was like, I'm not sure. So he came back to me and Deshaun and was like, well, what y'all want to do? Y'all want to continue to wait or y'all want to go somewhere else? So me and her was like, well, go somewhere else, bitch. We've been here an hour. They still saying they don't know. And we ain't pressed to eat. I mean, it's, it's cute and all, but we're all... We could take it or leave it. This was the 2010s or whatever, girl. So aesthetics was not a vibe. We ended up just like going, driving down the road, finding another breakfast spot. It was like a little mom and pop breakfast spot. Hitting that breakfast spot. Them bitches had some good ass food too. Um, and that was our day. So, you know, he took me back. He took my. He took me back to. This was a mistake. This was a motherfucking mistake. <clears throat> my friend Deshawn parked at my house. When he picked this up, he picked this up from my house. That man should have never known where I lived at so soon. But I didn't think nothing of it, y'all. I do now. I do now, baby. That was our day. He took, he took her back. That was our day. We talked on the phone throughout that day. Um... I don't really remember what we talked about, but you know, we had a good conversation because like I said, he was funny as shit, y'all. He was funny. No inkling that this bitch was crazy. Next couple of days, he kind of went out the same to the same spots that we went out to. So on our Monday night, whatever we went, on our Monday night club night, we saw his ass. Tuesday, we saw him. So it was like I was hanging with him. While I was partying, so I was getting to know him as much as you can get to know a motherfucker at the go-go when you can't even hear nobody talking. I swore I knew him, child. I didn't know that bitch. That's why I didn't know he was crazy. Wednesday, that following Wednesday, I talked to him. I gotta tell you something. Now, mind you, I've known him for about five days now. So, I gotta tell you something. Should never... We ain't even at that stage yet where... You got to sit me down to, for some shit. Bitch, I, I, hello? I just met you Thursday. We ain't even known each other seven days. It's been six days, as a matter of fact. It ain't even been seven days yet. So we definitely ain't the, I got to tell you something, Stay. No, he said, I'm going to come over there and tell you. So I was like, what? Okay. Now, mind you, he had already knew where I lived at from when he picked up me and Deshaun. So I'm like, all right, cool. So he... Picks me up, I get in his truck, and he starts talking about, I'm in some real, look, I'm in some real heavy shit, like, and I was supposed to go back to court, I ain't never go back to court, like, nobody went, you know, in your 20s and your 30s, none of the street niggas went to court, so, I mean, some of them did, but when they see it wasn't going to be the best outcome, when they see it wasn't going to be the best outcome, they, we ain't finna go to court, so I was supposed to go to court, I missed my court date, you know, they're going to th you know, they going to really do me in. They're going to do me dirty. Um, I, I got warrants now. I'm on the run. Like, you know, it is some serious shit. This is how he talking to me. It's some serious shit. I'm on the run right now. So, you know, I can't be out doing whatever. You know, I can't go to the club no more. And I'm like, okay. Like, in my mind, I'm like, why he telling me this? I ain't never asked you to go to the club with me. Like, I, I, I happened to see you up there. I didn't even know you were coming. But, okay. Why are you telling me this at all? Like, again, we're at the stage where... Just ghost me, bitch. Like, like for real. Like, just don't call me no more till you work it out. I didn't need to know. In my mind, I didn't need to know none of this. You're not my man. I, I literally met you six days ago. So... We definitely ain't here where you got to explain some shit to me. So, I was like, oh, damn, that's fucked up. Um, but, yeah, I understand. Because I'm thinking that he telling me this because you ain't going to hear from me no more. Like, I hit you. Like I'm saying, I'll hit you when all of this is resolved type shit. So, I'm like, okay, baby. Uh, see you around, I guess. He was like, see you around. You just going to leave me high and dry. Well, in order for me to leave you, I got to be with you. And again, bitch, I'm not with you. So, yeah, I guess. I'm going to leave you. I, I don't really know what to say right here because six days. I, six days. 
So I don't know what the fuck to say to this man. So I was like, nah, I, I thought that's what you were saying. Like, you gonna go handle your business and then, you know, get back at me whenever. He was like, nah, I'm saying, I'm just letting you know. So if you don't see me around or, you know, we can't, we, we can't go to certain places and all of this. And I'm like, okay. Again, what the fuck is going on here? Like, what are we talking about? You, this normal for you to tell? This is normal for you to tell me all this? Like, six days in? I mean, people. some people are overshares, I guess, baby. I, I, listen, I'm not going to knock his journey, okay? Light up one of them J's while you telling me, though, because he, he, he was the tree man, too. Go, go on, hit, light that and roll that. Now, I, I listen to whatever the fuck you got to say. We can talk about all your court issues at that point. I, listen, light that first because I don't know what we doing here. So I got, I need some old, like, yeah, I need some incentive to keep sitting here. So he goes up and down. This is some serious shit. Keep that in mind. This is so serious. It's like, it's life or death. I can't believe, man, I, you know, I, I was facing so much. That's why I ended up going to court. I'm like, Shh, I'm going to go ahead and just live as much as I can live out here until they catch me. I was like, yeah, I mean, that's the way to look at it, you know. I guess. Okay. So, that weekend came and he was like, my homeboy is having... Okay, so he did... This is what he did. I know... Uh, Y'all don't know this about me, but I'm not really an overly emotional type of person. I'm not really a laid up on you all day type... Of, you know, I'll, I'll do it, but I'm not one to force it or... You know what I mean? Or... Initiated sometimes. Sometimes I do initiate it, but you know what I'm saying. I'm the. I don't usually. So I don't know what that made. I feel like that made him feel like. I don't know. Like maybe I didn't like him as much as he liked me or whatever, whatever. So anyway, he was like, "Oh, my homeboy is having a um a cookout. I want to go to the cookout. This is how he said it." My homeboy's having a cookout. I want to go to the cookout. You know what I'm saying? That cookout going to be bomb or whatever, whatever. So this weekend, this particular weekend, I was tired as fuck. I had party for like two weeks straight for days. I was tired. I wasn't going out the Saturday night spot. I wasn't going. And I, was, I said I was going to chill Saturday and Sunday. So I didn't want to go nowhere. I was like, oh, okay. That sounds like fun. So again, I've only known this man a week. I'm definitely not thinking that he's telling me this because he wants me to come. I'm thinking he's telling me this this because this is what he's doing for the weekend. We have a conversation. So he was like, yeah, that's going to be fun. I ain't seen my man in a long time, yada, yada, yada. So I was like, oh, that sounds cool. So he was like, well, what you going to do this weekend? I was like, I'm going to chill all weekend. I've been in, you know, in the streets for weeks. I, I need to chill. So I was like, I ain't doing shit. I'm just going to chill. So he was like, oh, okay. So he was like, yeah, so my man, you know, he he moved way out such and such and that's why I ain't seen him. I'm like, eh, okay. Like, why the fuck you keep talking about your man? Because it wasn't regular conversation, you know what I'm saying? You already told me about this bullshit cookout. Like, what we still talking about? Why are we still talking about your man? But I ain't saying that. I was just like, oh, okay. All right. So, I, we ended up getting off the phone. To him the whole day, the rest of the day on Saturday. Like I said, I was chilling. I don't want to be on the phone. I don't want to go nowhere. I want to do nothing. So, bitch, I'm not, even if he did call, I didn't answer the phone. He like, yeah, you know, the cookout the day, baby. And, you know, it's going to be at 12 o'clock and all this old bullshit. I was like, okay. I, I, look, have fun. You know what I'm saying? What you got on? I hope you got your good shit on. You know what I mean? I hope you're doing the motherfucker. Make sure you tell your mans I said hi. All of that. So he said, so then he gets quiet. So I was like, oh, well, okay, well, hit me after. I'm about to chill, finish watching Lifetime, baby. Because that's what I was doing about them in the 2000s. Listen, Lifetime, um, what was that detective show, that detective uh, channel? Uh, ID Discovery, ID Discovery, Lifetime had me in a chokehold. Bitch, that was my Sunday. 
That was always my Sunday. So, well, the, the, on the Sundays I didn't go out. That was me. Lifetime, Discovery Channel, all them crime shows. Deadly Women was my shit, bitch. Like, put in the comments, which one was yours? Um, some people was forced 48 and all that. I wasn't into interrogations and all that back then. I am now on YouTube with my crime shows, but I wasn't into that back then. So then it gets quiet and he's like, I've been hitting around that I wanted you to go with me to the cookout because, you know, everybody's going to be there with somebody and I, I'm not going to be there with anybody. I'm going to be there by myself. Okay. <laughs> all right. So... fuck do I say this without Jai getting in trouble? Okay. Again, I'm not overly emotional, you know, whatever. So when he said that, I was just like, I mean, you you sound so wimpy. Like, you know, my, like, I mean, some people would be like, oh, I didn't say all. Oh. I was just like, what the fuck? Like, why are you acting like that? Act like a man. I just was just looking at him like, ugh, like, so he was like, I was like, well, why didn't you, cause, cause for me, you been telling me about this motherfucking cookout since Friday. You mean to tell me you, you been beating around the bush and doing all this asking and just keep explaining the cookout. You did all of that for two days instead of just saying you trying to go with me. Like, so that's why I was looking like, ugh, like. That's some insecure ass shit. Like, I don't know. It just made me look at him like, mm mm. So I was like, oh, yeah, I'll go. So I say I'm gonna go. I said, all right, let me get dressed. I'm going to the cookout with you. He like, all right, cool. He gets sliced. I'm like, I, okay. Red flag number two. Why you sliced? Red flag number three. I'm sorry. Because you telling me about your legal issues six days in, that was definitely number two. So, number three, you get sized because I said I was going to a cookout again. We're like, now we over a weekend in now. We about 10 days in now. Still weird as fuck, but okay. So, when he gets to, he like, you got to drive because you know I'm on the run. So, we're going to have to take your car. Now, at the time, I had a car note. <laughs> Anybody who know me knows about this 19... What year was that car? No, a 1996 Nissan Altima. Or was it a 98? Okay, whether well, it was a 98 or a 96, bitch, we are in at least 2010. Let me see. Ten years ago was 2014. So we was like in 2008. We like in 2008, 2009. And I was driving a 96, 97. Okay? Well, you do the math. That bitch wasn't going far. It got me to work into like entertainment places I wanted to go to. That motherfucker wasn't going to West Hill. Like that, come on, man. What you mean I got to drive? You got a brand new Denali. Let me try that. Like, you know what I'm saying? What the fuck we got to take my car for? I'm on the run. Come on. I'm going to put gas in the car. Oh, you definitely putting gas in the car. So we got to the gas station, and I will never forget this. He put $40 in my car. $40 in 2008? That would beyond fill your car. Well, beyond filled up mine. It, I had an Altima. So he put $40 in my car, which also told me, how far we was going. Cause I'm like. He was. I mean not surprised that he filled my tank up. But. You doing this to get where we supposed to be going. So we driving. We driving. We driving and we driving. We driving and we driving. We driving and we driving. We drove damn near two hours. Away. We drove. <laughs> At least an hour 45 away. 
so he we come through we come through the, the dude who owned the house came and greeted us first when we came through the yard and he was like hey what's up i ain't seen you in a minute yada 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 they hug they embrace they talk they just this, this and this and then he gets to me and he's like and this is my lady tone your lady who you what you mean what you talk about <laughs> i'm your lady what do you mean we 10 days like so wait, listen when he said this shit my face I didn't say nothing but my face said so the dude kind of did that too like why you do that so I was like oh hey how you doing or whatever whatever how the fuck am I your lady sir I'm not your lady I'm not I'm not I'm Red flag number four. I'm his lady at 10 days in. I ain't say that. I just say, hey, how you doing? But best believe, bitch, when this nigga walk off, I'm definitely going to say something. So he walks off and we walking back to the backyard. And I was like, your lady? And he was like, um, yeah, what's wrong with that? You don't want to be my lady? I was like, well, I don't really know you yet. We met last week, remember? So he was like, yeah, but we spent time together and this, this, and this. We, we're doing this on the walk to the cookout table. So he was like, we didn't spend time together and this, this, and this. So by the time he started talking about all of that, this wasn't really the place to get into it with him at about this. So I was just like, I didn't say nothing back. I just kept walking with him. We get there and I don't know. We went and sat down. We went there. We got there. We sat down. We got a place. We got drinks. He mingling with his old, his friends. That he, you know, that he used to hang out with or used to know or whatever. Um, they talk and laugh. And I told you, he funny as shit. So, you know, he the life of the party. He's definitely a main character. So, you know, he did his big one too. I was sitting there laughing and kiki with the cousins and all of them. Um, so, you know, a good time was had. But, while we were there, he was being extra. Like, hugging all over me. And uh, it wasn't because I, I felt like. I felt like it wasn't because you really liked me. It was because you was really trying to sell that I was your girlfriend. These people didn't believe that you can have a girlfriend or what? Like, what's really going on here? Let me just say that. They knew this nigga. That's why they couldn't believe that he had a girlfriend. But you won't just keep listening. They knew him. That's why they was looking at me like, bitches, you sure? Like, girl. <laughs> ah, you... For real? You committed to him with all of that? Okay, so. Because you his lady, bitch. So, you know. So, he do a little bit stunting and all of that. And, and you know, like, he bragging. And all the shit I hate. But, they kind of know how he is. So, it's not such a big deal to them, I guess. I don't know. They didn't make such a big deal of it. I was just like, it wasn't, it wasn't to the point where he was a very big bragger. You know what I'm saying? He was a very big bragger. But, you know, like, I got money. I can't, I hated that. I hated that shit. So, I was like, don't do all that that, that weak-ass shit in front of me. Like, you know what I'm saying? You, don't do too much. That If you got it, if, if people can see you got it. Ain't no need for you to keep. You know, like, what is you doing? I don't like all that. What can we say? I don't like that. Maybe I don't like that. So, but he was doing all that at the cookout. But this was as he was getting drunk. A nice time was had overall. Go back to my house. Now, this is the first time that anything was going to happen with him. We both drunk, feeling good. We ain't, like, we ain't drunk, drunk. But, you know what I'm saying? We both feeling nice, feeling good, whatever, whatever. And he was drunk. I, would. I wasn't drunk. I was feeling nice, but I wasn't drunk. So, he was like, stop at the gas station. He went in that motherfucking gas station and got a roll up and a Magnum condom. So when he came out and got back in his car, I mean, got back in my car, he puts the Magnum on the <laughs> bitch. He puts the Magnum on the little console along with the roller. Like he threw them both in the little consoles only for me to see that it was a Magnum. So I'm like, okay, a time for the. Bitch, I was giving a time finna be had. 
You know what I'm saying? We okay, man. Don't give a show about yourself, bitch. Now he was a big nigga, so I definitely was not expecting Magnum energy. Like, so I was like, okay, okay girl. Let's see what we finna do. So we get back to my house, we talking this, this, and this. He comes in, you know, all of the things lead to the things. Y'all, do my face look like I done been to the mountain motherfucking top? No, it did not. And it didn't look like it on that day either. This nigga gets in the room, pulls his pants down, and I didn't see anything. I didn't see... This was bigger. My pinky's bigger than what was it was given vagina okay it was given not a real one but it, the size of a vagina with your clip mm -hmm. it was given that it, it it was given that um that motherfucking magnum looked like a a balloon animal on here like why would you go buy that why the fuck would you ever go by that? Then he kept trying to do this shoving in type thing. What the fuck are you doing? Y'all. <laughs> Y'all. It seemed like that bitch was running and just jamming. I don't want YouTube to get me so I can't say too much. But bitch, when I tell you. When I tell you. I didn't know. All I felt was stomach and force like cause and a balloon animal then he was holding the bitch on like okay <laughs> bitch okay I'm gonna just stop it right there he, I, but I will say that he had to hold it on even he needed a, to hold it on or tie a rubber band around it those was his motherfucking options bitch it wasn't standing on by itself you need dick to be in there like never mind okay so that, that, needless to say it was the the worst experience ever. And this is how you know he knew it was the worst experience ever. Because when it was all said and done in the 30 seconds that it, it took, this nigga said, you, you can work with something like that? What my dumb... <laughs> what my dumb, stupid ass say? I mean, yeah, it's a, Bitch, no, you can't. And you know you can't. Why wasn't you honest with that man from the gate? Like, come on, bitch, you know... Girl, you're playing games now. You're, you know, you're playing. You're, first of all, you're playing with your life because if that bitch slip off, which it most likely will, because it's about four or five sizes too large. So you're 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 further facilitating this and pumping his head up instead of saying stop, keep playing, get you a a thimble. A, I don't know, <laughs> a baby nipple from. That's what he need. You know those baby, those rubber baby nipples that you roll down on the baby bottle? I don't know if they still got them now because they're so far in advance. But when I was coming up, they had those. He need one of them. He needs one of them. A lifestyle wouldn't even... He would have to hold that bitch on too. So after that night, I had a boyfriend. And the worst sex I've ever had. And... We were together. Um, so much so that after the encounter, he said, I love you. Now, I wasn't that dumb to say I love you too. But I was dumb enough to keep sticking with this bitch who just said I love you after the 10 days that we was together. This was insane. This was insane. Okay. But I'm going along with it. But why though? Why the fuck am I going along with it? Something to do maybe? I don't know. This was crazy. And he was spending, he was buying the block. He was buying, you know, he was, he was spending the cash. Like I said, he was the tree man. So, you know, I had endless debt. He, he was fun. He was a fun time. So that's why I'm choosing to ignore the bullshit like, you think you go with me in 10 days. Well, no. He don't think that because, bitch, I, I agreed to it, apparently. 
You so stupid, bitch. <laughs> you are so motherfucking stupid. After that, it's like, no. So after that, we was kicking it. That's when he wanted to kick it every single day. After that night, he started calling me every day, all day. While I'm at work, he texted me all day. Call me on your break and this, this, and I, listen, if you know me, you know that's not my style. I don't need to talk to you, but baby, once a day, just to see if you're alive. Um, especially back then, I was even worse then. Like, you talking to, we talking on the phone and shit, I, I ain't for all this. Like, I just talked to you earlier. I, you doing good, I, I know. Like, I just talked to your bitch ass earlier. Why I got to talk to you at 12 o'clock too? Why I got to waste my break? Fucking with you. I could be playing Tetris or, you know what I'm saying? I could, words, what was it? Uh, words with friends. I could be doing some shit like that. Instead of talking to you. Like, why I got to talk to you at 12? I don't want to. I don't want to. You, I talked to you at that. Then I told you he's a street nigga. So, he got all the time in the world. But I don't. I got things to do. I have work to do. And the type of job that I had, it was not, you wasn't able to be up on the phone all day long. You know what I'm saying? Well, y'all already know I, I worked in the doctor's office, but there was no all day long. It was no, it was none of that. No, you can't do all that bullshit. So, but my dumb ass somehow was doing it. <laughs> I was fucking doing it like a dumbass. I was facilitating the shit. I was leading, not leading them on, but I really was acting like I'm with this shit. Now, I would be like, you could definitely tell that that wasn't me because I wasn't doing no calling. He was doing all the calling. He was doing all the dates and all of that shit and hooking up and we went to the movies and we went, like I said, it was a good time. So now we have week. I'm going to say we're around two and a half weeks in. And this is the first time, our first fight. So, he wanted me to go somewhere. Like I said, on Sundays, I usually don't do nothing. I usually was chilling, going in on Monday. Um, even when we party five days a week, we will party on Sunday sometime. But, like I said, I'm really chilling. I'm really chilling on Sundays. So... He wanted me to go somewhere, out to dinner or somewhere. And I'm like, nah, I'm chilling. I don't, I don't want to. He's like, okay, well, why don't I come over, to you, over there to you? So I'm like, nah, I'm good. I don't want to, uh, I don't want to go out tonight. I want to chill. I want to chill alone, this, this, this. Okay, so wait. So he got mad. He was like, what you mean you don't want? I'm your motherfucking nigga. You, I, he didn't say nigga. He was like, I'm your motherfucking man. You don't need, you talking about you don't want to see me. What you talking about you don't want to see me? I was like, what you mean? I said I'm chilling tonight. And I don't want to see nobody. You could be my damn mama. I don't want to see her today. What's, what, what's wrong? Why, why, you, why, you, why your chest swelling? Why you, I hear some bass in your voice. What's going on? Because in my mind still, we two weeks in. Even though I done told this man that I'd go with him, we still two weeks in. So, he starts yelling. So, he like, no, oh, what the fuck you talking about? You, you don't want to see me today. I don't know. Understand. This is what couples do. You supposed to be sick. We supposed to be together. We supposed to spend time together. I said, listen. Then he made this mistake. I said, listen. Everybody needs time to themselves. And I've always been like that. Even as a teenager, I don't need to see my man all the time. I'm not one to be stuck up my man's ass. 20. I don't need to be stuck up my man's ass 24-7. I like the fact that we have separate time. Especially back then. Like, I, I, I'm getting older. In my older age, I be wanting to spend more time now. But in my 20s, nah. Bitch, I got friends. Like, we be in the streets. I ain't trying to fuck with you every single day. Oh, oh, but most of my boyfriends, no, I can't say that. But most of my boyfriends was chill. Like they, they, they had shit to do too. They ain't had time to fuck be all up. On, we we still found time to spend together, but they weren't trying to spend every waking moment with me too. That's that's how you made it to be my boyfriend because I would have never settled down with anybody that was clean. I can't do it. 
So he's going off on the phone. Then he made the mistake and said, um, all that I do for you, all that I do for you, and you going to act like this? I said, when I say I cuss that bitch out, I cuss that bitch the fuck out. I was like, bitch, you've given me $40 total. Yeah, like, I, okay, I smoke this shit and all that, but I don't count that. Like, what you mean? I'm your girl. <laughs> bitch, I'm your girl. What you mean? I could, I could get some. I could get, I could smoke some of it. Fuck. So, and I'm putting up with your bitch ass. I'm pretending to be your girlfriend. Like, you gotta pay. You gotta pay. I'm dealing with the vagina. Like, uh-uh. No, you won't smoke me out. For real. I was like, bitch, you ain't. I said, you gave me 40 motherfucking dollars since I met you. You put $40 in my goddamn gas tank. That's how I remember the amount of the gas. Because I cussed that bitch out and said, you've given me 40 He like, but I, I said, but you nothing. You weak ass motherfucking nigga. You trying to bring up some shit that you done did. What you ain't do shit. I said, I take care of my motherfuckers. I don't play that. I don't play that. I, especially back then, I used to work hard as fuck to take care of myself. You know how hard that is when you're in your 20s and you really want to spend money on yourself, but you got to pay your rent or some responsible shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, you're not going to take that away from me. You don't take care of me. Are you crazy? You don't do a motherfucking thing for me. And anything you do do, I said you got in the car that day that you put the $40 in there. I was taking your bitch ass somewhere. I went off. O-F-F. -F. So... He was like, nah, I wasn't saying, oh, now you want to backpedal. Nah, you ain't met the real tone yet. Don't you ever in your motherfucking life try to come, don't you ever. I hung up on that bitch. I see somebody like 15, 20 minutes later driving up in my um, driveway. We cutting the, the shades off. We cutting the sh I wish you would knock on this door. You know, he never knocked on the door either. He sat outside and kept calling and kept calling. I wasn't answering. He never knocked on the door. He eventually, after about about two hours, red flag number five. Well, actually, red flag number five was his friends looking at me like, you go with him for real? That was number five. Well, this probably like number seven. I can't do that. Let's say number seven. You came to my house, you calling all these times, you called for two hours straight, sitting outside in my parking lot. Red flag. Red motherfucking flag. But I wish I could say that's the end, because it's not. I seen him after that, y'all, after this dumb shit. I seen him after that. Why would I see him after that? I'm gonna be a part two, I'm telling y'all that now. So we, we, So he came to my house, he was like, can I talk to you? So he was like, I never meant to. This was like maybe a few days later. So now we, we rolling into week three. Now I told you this lasted 30 days. So he like, this was a whirlwind, y'all. Look how much stuff we didn't been through the first 10 days. So he was like, um, I really i am sorry and all that. I didn't mean to say that to you, you know. Um, I, I do need to, I definitely understand now I need to start stepping up to the plate because you said I ain't doing a motherfucking thing for you. Like you could, he was like, look, he looked at me, he was like, shorty, you cussed me out. I was like, I was like, yeah, I don't play that shit. Like, nah, you know, when, when you paying shit, that's when you can say you, you, you taking care of something. You're not taking care of me. So. I was like, anything you've done for me has been extra. It ain't not taking care of me. He like, all right, all right, all right. I got it. I got it. I got you. He was like, but we make it back up. We gonna have make up sex. We don't gotta do that. We don't gotta have that, baby. Go on, keep that. Um, how about a handshake? Like, let's let's do a handshake. Let's do a, you know, a dap. Let's hug it out. Okay, we can hug it out. We don't need to fuck. We don't ever need to fuck. So he stayed over there, he chilled or whatever. We watched movies. And that's how the first fight ended. So I'm going to end it right here. Because I'm going into when he got even crazier. I'm going into that then. This was just a mild. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Tell a friend, tell a neighbor, and make sure you share this video on this crazy motherfucking nigga. Put in the comments.
promise if you ever had a stalker, if you ever had somebody crazy, you ever had somebody popping up on you, you ever had a nigga with a vagina, put it in the comments. I want to know all about it and I'll see you guys in my next video.